end. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bond mate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it... No, I, I, I understand. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Your Commander Shepard, I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off-world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure. But she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, 
it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I, I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. 
I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. This is my life you're talking about. You signed the indentured service contract. You gave over your responsibility to me. So, don't worry. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go, now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant soup repairs and clean room facilities. So, what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use, and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. You deserve somebody who respects you. Can I help you with something? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarry had better be good, though. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. 
I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Welcome to Eternity. I'm Athita Asari Matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Quarian. How could he be so insensitive? You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat even. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. 
we could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the uh, Turian and Orian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... what? Oh, yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh, here. Let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me, human. Private conversation. Ugh. A little space, please. I'll see what we can do, sir. the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Kurosa Generational Archive. You found it! Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Who rose, Amelia? Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle that is us. Here and now, I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with love. And I stand here, humble, and mute to offer you a home. Come to me, Blue Rose of Ilium. Let our three hearts beat as two. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Blue Rose of Ilium, you have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. But beauty under glass is untested and weak. Where are your honored dead to fertilize the ground that you might grow strong? On the rocky plains of Tachanka, I will build you a garden from the bones of my ancestors. What do you want? <sighs> sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. Oh, He's harmless. Which, I know, Let Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. Tachanka. We're kind of dating, but, well... We're on a break, and he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... 
Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's Not permanent with blood, bond material. But with love. And I Look at him, he's obviously crazy you about you. you Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. This is valuable. it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. 
Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Theros signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about, exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy. The other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people. Exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't... You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do.